guys, welcome back to the Rock and Roll Junkyard. I'm about as nicky as it gets. And today I got a bunch of cassettes. I got a big cassette update for you. I've been getting a lot of uh, package deals, going to yard sales and thrift stores and stuff. And I'm finding uh, boxes where I can't like cherry pick through them and grab the ones I want. I gotta buy the whole box. And because of that, I have a bunch of crap I don't want. You know, I got a bunch of like Tina Turner and, and you know, I, I can't even think. I, they're all packed away somewhere now. Uh, but I got a bunch that I really did want, and a bunch that I wouldn't necessarily look for, but I'm pretty excited to get and listen to them and see what they're like. Some of these I haven't listened to yet. Uh, a lot of them I have, uh, and I plan on listening to all of them. So, first off, here I got some Pearl Jam. I got Versus, Vitalogy, and Ten. Nope, I got that wrong. That's 10. Oops. And that's versus. Probably can't see them anyway because of the reflection, but... That's Pearl Jam. No need to even explain Pearl Jam. Like, it, it, they're, they're legends. So, pretty stoked to find these. Uh, what else I got here? Found, found some Skid Row. Got their self-titled album there, and I got Slave to the Grind. You can't go wrong with Skid Row. Uh, some Slaughter. Got uh, the Wildlife here. And let's stick it to you. Almost mispronounced that. Uh, real excited to find this. Jane's Addiction, their self-titled uh, debut on cassette. I love Jane's Addiction. And the same yard sale I bought that, he actually had a reel-to-reel -reel copy in the box of Inagata De Vida by Iron Butterfly. He wanted like 70 bucks for it though. I didn't buy it. I don't have a reel-to-reel. -reel. I almost bought one, but I'm uh, starting to run low on room on account of all this music stuff. I don't call it the Rock and Roll Junkyard for no reason. Uh, what else I got in here? So I had a copy of this when I was a kid. Um, I don't know what ever happened to it. Uh, I no longer have it on, I mean, I used to have it on CD, but I found a copy of it on cassette. This is Nine Inch Nails with uh, the Downward Spiral, one of their more popular, more well-known releases, particularly for the song Closer. That's one of their songs that everybody knows. Uh, it's a great album. I was really excited to find that. Then I got this sampler here, this compilation. It's from Massacre Records and Solid Rock Records. And it's a compilation of thrash metal and death metal from the late 80s, early 90s. Uh, it's got Toxic Shock and Viper and Dark Millennium, Ritual, stuff like that. Uh, really good. Really good. I was pretty excited to get a hold of that. Couple STP releases here, which I'm stoked about. I got the uh, Tiny Music. Oop. Trying to get it without the reflection there. Tiny Music by Stone Temple Pilots, and also Number Four. Phenomenal album. You can't go wrong with Stone Temple Pilots. Uh, in fact, in that same lot, I had this one too. Core, but. There's, the tape was a little bit damaged, and I didn't realize when I put it in my machine, because I keep my machine in very good shape, but the tape was already a little damaged, and it kind of ate it, so I don't know if I'll be able to fix that, which is a total bummer. Um, right, so what else? Here I got, uh, oh, yes, dude, Pantera, Far Beyond Driven. Another one of those bands I shouldn't have to explain. You know who Pantera is. If you don't know who Pantera is, you're missing something. You need to learn who Pantera is. I need to get this album, Far Beyond Driven. And then I got uh, Lynch Mob, Wicked Sensation. Uh, oh, so here's one that uh, is kind of funny. My supervisor at work found this sitting on a gas pump as he was getting gas in the morning on his way to work. Ah, jeez, come on, okay, well, you can't see it, I guess, the reflection is being a punk, but it's Green Day, it's Dookie, and I was like, oh, you know, I'm not a huge Green Day fan, but that's cool, <laughs> and then I open it up, 
That's actually... Eh, you can't read that either. It's poison. Open up and say, ah. It's a poison cassette in a Green Day sleeve, so... It's kind of like two halves of something I kind of like, I guess. Um, let's see, what else? I'm just going to grab a stack here. We have some ACDC, Fall Breaker, not the best album. Um, a good one to have, though, just because it's ACDC. You know, I'll listen to it a few times, but definitely not my favorite. But it's part of the package. So it was a ZZ Top's Greatest Hits. If you can see that. That one's coming through a little bit better. And then I found Tom T. Hall's Greatest Hits. Now, if you don't know who Tom T. Hall is, this is like storytelling music, like like kind of that 70s trucker storytelling sort of vibe. It's similar to like C.W. McCall, but less bluegrassy. Definitely more folk Americana. Um, but excellent. I love Tom T. Hall. It's, a lot of his stories are very relatable for me. Um, so that's a that was a great one. I was still to get that. Also got Judgment Night here soundtrack and uh, this album's awesome this was like the first time there's a real rap rock collaboration it's uh, it's you know one one rock band and uh, hip-hop group or artist uh, on each track so it's, it's got like a collaboration of like it's got Ice-T and Slayer House of Pain with Helmet Cypress Hill and Sonic Youth uh, you know Run DMC and Living Color uh, so it's it's it was a, a, a mashup of rock and rap in each song, and it was really good. And that's I don't think anything like that had, had really come out too much before this, except for maybe the, the Run DMC and Aerosmith thing, which was also awesome. But definitely check this out; it's really good. Um, and then this one I found in a shop, uh, or no, I think it was a yard sale, but it doesn't matter. The day before Chris Cornell passed. I found Sound Gardens down on the upside. I already have this album on CD, but anyhow, um, yeah, I already had it on CD, but it's just you know cassettes have uh, have a very unique sound. So it's uh, and it, immediately the next day I found out that Chris Cornell had passed, which was tragic. I wrote a paper on the guy in high school. You know, several page papers. I really looked up to him, so it's it's kind of special to you know find some of his music in older, obsolete formats. Um, see here, I got No Doubt, Tragic Kingdom. That's another one I own on CD. I think I have a couple copies of it actually somehow, but found a copy of it on cassette in really good shape. And then. I got the uh, sort of the essential early 90s grunge album that everybody had to own, which was uh, Nirvana's Nevermind. And I found that in a box. That was pretty cool. I think it was uh, coincidentally, or perhaps ironically, depending on your definition of either word, it was right next to Hole. With, uh, what's this album called again? Pretty, pretty on the inside. Um, and I actually haven't listened to this one yet. So. That'll be, that'll be interesting. Uh, boy, I think that, oh, no, one more. So a friend of mine was on a road trip and stopped in at a shop and saw a cassette in there, brand new, still wrapped, still in the package. And so he bought it um, because, he bought it for me because I'm, I'm the only guy he knows who collects cassettes. And so when he brought it into the bar to give it to me, I just about crapped a rainbow. So check this out. This is Corrosion of Conformity with Wise Blood. And this album is absolutely amazing. If you don't know Corrosion of Conformity, check them out. If you do know them, but you don't know this album, check it out. I Pretty bad with like adjectives as far as describing their sound, but you can hear a lot of influences in there. You can hear a lot of elements of bands that they influenced. You can hear a lot of elements of bands who influenced them. You know, you can definitely hear a little bit of Rage Against the Machine in there. You can hear some uh, kind of like that, the 90s Metallica sound when, or like the 
there's a lot of the sound that 90s Metallica was going for but couldn't quite pull off. They were kind of kind of sucking at that point. Um, but these guys were able to, to like pull it off. And there's there's other sounds in there too. I, I don't know. Like I said, I can't quite describe it. But it is an amazing album. Definitely, definitely check it out. Corrosion of Conformity with Wise Blood. And I think that about does it for the albums that I was really excited to get and I got a bunch of loose cassettes too just random stuff here you know I got the Chieftains I actually like the Chieftains so that's pretty cool Blues Traveler you know and there's like Al Alan Jackson um, and just all, all kinds of stuff Boston and Journey and, and oh I got the uh, uh, Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon, too. I didn't put that one in here, but that's an album that you have to have and you have to listen to. It's great. Um, one more. I promise this is the last one. A friend of mine gave me this. I don't know where he picked it up. He got it brand new. This is a, uh, a punk rock band, from what I understand, out of Portland. And I actually haven't listened to this cassette yet, but I'm really excited about it. This is Roddy's with Pacific North Waste. And it's a really nice case, you know, silver silver case. The cassette itself is red. And I'm really excited to listen to this. I've never heard of these guys. I know nothing about them. Um, but it seems like it would be my kind of music. He seemed to think so, because he got it for me. So I'm really stoked to listen to that. And then I got a bunch of bunch of CDs as well. Uh, not going to get into those right now, probably at a later time. But anyway, that's just a little bit of kind of what I've been up to, uh, what I've been listening to. Bought probably close to 60 tapes in the last couple weeks, and there's about two dozen of them that I'm really, really excited to, to listen to, or have listened to, but I'm excited to finally own you know, on cassette. So anyway, that's... Uh, that's it for me. That's what I've been listening to. So let me know what you think. You know any of those bands? You like any of those albums? Let me know in the comments. And uh, if you like this video, smash that like button. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more of my, you know, rambling bullshit. That'd be cool too. Or don't. I don't care. But, you know, it's always sort of a little morale boost to see that I got a, a like or a subscribe. So, you know, if you're feeling generous, you know, and if not, whatever. All right, well, we'll catch you guys in the next video.